Hey everybody, it's Dr. Anthony G. Beck, and if you saw one of my posts there on Facebook, I told everybody to kind of hold off on installing their iOS 11 for their iPhone product because there is a, an egregious uh, diabolical error. Um, <clears throat> If it's diabolical, it's probably not an error, it's on purpose, right? So anyways, the thing about it is, is the new iOS system for the uh, um, iPhone um, has a change in how it handles turning on and off signals within your phone. So what I did was I did a little video walkthrough for you guys on that to kind of show you what's going on with it. And then of course at the end I'm going to show you uh, how you can correct for it and adjust for it. But at the end of the day, it's enough to where I definitely would recommend that we all contact Apple and say, hey, we don't like it. Uh, it's not user intuitive. It keeps um, uh, radio frequencies being emitted, uh, keeps them on and being emitted from the phone even when we have things seemingly turned off in the control center. So without further ado, it's rather a little bit of a long interview, uh, little uh, uh, video recording, but the thing about it is I get through it and, and uh, re really get to the meat and potatoes of what you really need to see. I really want to make sure you saw um, it and uh, had the proper evidence in doing so. Okay, so take a check. Okay, so here's one of my iPhones, and as you can see, um, it's in airplane mode, okay? So this is a radio frequency meter that I recommend, the Acousta meter, model AM10, because it has a response frequency of 200 megahertz to eight gigahertz. More on that maybe later. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and you're gonna see that it's measuring, well, this is the only thing that this is pinging, this is my neighbor's smart meter. This is why smart meters suck, because they're constantly shooting out um, radio frequency, which is not good for your health, of course. But, so you can see, it's not making any uh, radio frequency emission from this particular phone. My whole environment is here in my home is uh, radio frequency free. I don't have a, um, a wireless internet or anything like that. All mine is done the right way. But anyhow, um, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and swipe up and I'm going to show you on this control center here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit airplane mode off and you're going to see this, the meter is now cranking and showing that it's definitely pinging. So this is what happens to your cell phone as soon as you turn it on. It's really trying hard to find a uh, a cell signal. And if we wait here for just a little bit, <laughs> unable to download item. That's right, because I'm not on Wi-Fi, sucker. So, no, I don't want that. Okay. Okay, so unable to download item. See, it keeps wanting me to download that update. That's one thing I hate about iPhones. Still pinging, probably going to keep giving me that warning to update my um, iOS, which is the whole purpose of this video. So, when the cell phone is on, it's pinging. Okay, so just for continuity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and turn off airplane mode. I'm going to turn the airplane mode back on, I should say. And we should see this meter drop out. Now whenever you put your, your your phone on airplane mode it tries real hard to make a connection so you don't want to ever put it in airplane mode and then stick it in your pocket because you can see it just really charges um, looking for a signal. So a lot of people swipe that and then instantly stick it in their bra or their pants or something like that and that's a big no-no. You want to wait a few seconds. As a matter of fact if you can keep from holding the dog on thing when you put it on airplane mode that's best. So you'll hit airplane mode and then turn it, uh, then set it down before you even pick it up or put it in your uh, in your pocket to bring with you. And I'll, I'm going to use that as one more example here while I'm making this video. Okay, so just to verify, turn on, turn off airplane mode. You can see the signals come back. The meter starts pinging like crazy. Okay, so I'm going to turn airplane mode back on, and see now I've even turned it off. But see how long it's still hitting. Okay, and then it turns it off. Okay. Then if I put on Bluetooth, he makes the Bluetooth sound. Every frequency has its own sound. Okay, so that's Bluetooth. So you can have Bluetooth on for your device even though you're in airplane mode. Okay, so let's turn off Bluetooth. 
and the sound stops. Okay, so one more time. Bluetooth. So what I want you to understand is, is the function of your phone is both radio frequency, microwaves communicating with the cell towers, but also Bluetooth. Okay, and they're independent of each other. And if we turn them both on, you hear both signals in the meter. They overlap each other. So as soon as that one stops peaking a little bit, you'll probably hear the Bluetooth ping back on you, clicking in the background. Turn the volume up a little bit. Not sure if you hear that in the video, but I can hear both sounds. Right, so we're going to turn that back to airplane mode. Give a second, see how long it takes. All right. All right. Now, when you hit to airplane mode, it will toggle off um, Bluetooth also, but you can come back and reconnect Bluetooth. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and install iOS 11 for the phone. Turn that off. I'm going to click while I'm talking. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do a second part of this video and what we're going to do is we're going to see that if with the new iOS 11 if we turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here in the control center namely just put it into airplane mode will the device still continue to ping okay so another thing we can do here is you can see that I'm in airplane mode okay and again what you're seeing here in my meter that's a smart meter from my neighbor Okay, so I'm going to go down here to privacy. Oops, I'm trying to film this and do this at the same time. Privacy, okay. And you can see that location services are on. Okay. So even though I'm in airplane mode, mine is not emitting. Okay. So if we turn location services off, we're going to say turn off. And what I want you to see here, because somebody's like, well, that's what that sound is on that meter. Okay, so you see, no, that's a pulse. It has not. So on right now, when my location services are on, they're still not active because I'm in airplane mode. Okay, does that make sense? All right. All right. So let's take a look at what happens after the iOS 11 install. Okay, so here's all the things that iOS 11 gives in the update. Just put these on the video and then you guys could always stop the video now if you would like to read these. Otherwise, I will continue to scroll. I'm a big fan of this concept, augmented reality. I think that's a, a Trojan horse there. See, so then now this is that part that I think is going to be a problem for us when it comes to keeping the, the radio frequency emitting even on airplane mode. So this control center redesign. Accessibly got access and so forth and so on. So we'll see how that goes. All right, those are all the new features. Let's update the phone. Okay, so I'm not sure if in the update for iOS 11, if this has anything to do with what we suspect happens, um, but it says to help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics user data and you can change it later in settings. All data is collected using privacy preserved techniques. Yeah, right. Whenever you have to give one of these little things, that means we're lying to you. So anyways, I'm gonna say no, don't share. Okay, all right.
right, so let's see. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's swipe up and see. We've got a new control center. Okay, which is airplane mode. I don't know what these are yet, if that's a, what's going on with that symbol, but this is generally Wi-Fi. And that's using Bluetooth. And that's airplane mode. Okay, so let's measure it and see what's going on. Okay, so I have completed the installation of iOS 11 here on my iPhone 7 Plus, okay? Um, so the thing about it is, is here's what all the hullabaloo is about, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the, the new control center, okay? And then right here, so you have airplane mode. This is your Wi-Fi on and off. This is Bluetooth, and that's cellular. So a little bit different than before. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on airplane mode and then I'm going to turn on the meter. Okay, and remember in the other video I showed you that's just the smart meter from my, from my neighbors. Okay, but when it's on airplane mode, okay, that all these things are supposedly off. Okay, so just going to go down here to settings and you're going to see that everything is off. Okay, because it's on airplane mode. Okay, Wi-Fi is off, Bluetooth is off, cellular is off. All right. But here's what's very interesting, okay? So I'm going to come off of airplane mode. It automatically s selects Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, okay? We'll go ahead and pop on sale. We're throwing everything, so just in case one of the other things, you see the meter goes nuts, okay? So that's why it's broadcasting. So even if we turn off of cellular um, data, and then if we go ahead and here, turn off uh, Bluetooth, turn off searching for Wi-Fi, Okay, now here's the thing. The meter shows that none of those are broadcasting because remember that pop right here? This is the smart meter from my neighbors, okay? So if I close this out and I go now here to the settings, even those are off, okay? Let me show you once again. Whoop, zoom in through here. Okay, All everything is off. It's not on airplane mode though, it's not off, okay? But this is the problem. When it says not connected on either Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, that does not mean that there's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It means that it disconnected you from whatever it was doing. So now you can see, okay, it's checking, even though they're off, okay? It's less frequent, but it's still looking because in fact, even though you have them toggled off, off, okay, here they're not off, they're just not connected. And here's how you know that. If you go here to Wi-Fi, it shows that it's on and you activate it and it goes off, okay? So what the problem with that is, is you think that it's not connected. Same thing here for Bluetooth. That's what Bluetooth will sound like. Bluetooth is off. But hold on, or I mean it's still on. But here's the deal. Here in your control panel, it doesn't show that it's on. You're thinking that it's off in the control panel. But what you have to do to truly make it off is go to your settings and turn it off. See that? So I did it for Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, though it says not connected, it's still on, even according to the meter. Give it a second here and it'll go off, okay? It's technically on even though your control center shows that it's not on, okay? So that's very confusing for, for people, all right? And, all right, so, see, it's checking. So what I'm going to do is I have to manually turn Wi-Fi off to make them all say off, okay? They're all off here. But the problem is, is when you turn it on, and then turn it off here in this control panel, it actually turns it on. And you have to manually come in here more steps to turn it off, okay? Same thing here, Oop. Okay, well, let me go like this. So Bluetooth is off, okay? I'm gonna swipe up to get the control center. I'm gonna toggle Bluetooth on, and I'm gonna toggle Bluetooth off. I'm gonna swipe down. 
in Bluetooth, even though it's turned off, it's not connected, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna be searching for it because it's in fact still on. You have to manually turn it off once you mess with it. So the moral of the story here is, Apple's got this all wrong. And they're actually doing it on purpose because what they're supposedly doing is is wanting you to be able to stay connected to other devices and stuff like that. But the problem is this gives you a false sense of security that if you have these off that your device is actually off when in fact it's not, okay? So pretty tough thing to do. And um, I'm going to show you guys, you know, um, uh, how you can uh, fix that. Okay, so here's what just, just to kind of show you here. So we see all of those are off. I'm gonna swipe up. And I'm gonna to toggle wireless on, wireless off. I'm gonna to toggle Bluetooth on, Bluetooth off. Okay, then I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna go here and show you that they're connected. Or excuse me, it's, it, they're, they're, they're not connected, but that doesn't mean that they're not on. <laughs> they're still on, they're just not connected. Remember, I'll show you here that it's still on even though we show Wi-Fi as being off okay same thing when it comes to the Bluetooth it's on you can hear it on the meter even though well now this time it's showing that, that it's actually on so we'll toggle that off Ooh, that's loud I'll turn that volume down okay so see Bluetooth I toggled it off but it's still signaling the Bluetooth because it's still on, okay? So, nefarious. Now here's the thing though. So we're gonna leave those as not connected, swipe up, and we're gonna go airplane mode, okay? Swipe down here, and then go and look and see that they are off, okay? So that's the fix. Even though these are off or grayed out, okay? when in fact they're on i showed you that the fix is use airplane mode because if we go ahead and toggle these on they come on automatically in this new ios we know that normally turns them on right again here they're not connected but they're still on but if you go to airplane mode it does turn them off. So that's the great news. The great news is, is airplane mode does shut them off. But the, the bad news is, is when you come off of airplane mode, and let's say you don't want wireless pinging and Bluetooth pinging, you just want to use your cellular data, okay? You're also getting emitted on the channels looking for Wi-Fi and for Bluetooth. So what you can't do is, keep your data on and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here, still thinking that you're cutting down on some of the frequencies, you're not. You have to manually come and turn these off each time and just keep the cellular on, okay? So it's a terrible update and we've I've proven it both with the meters and also with the settings and um, the only way to fix this is is to keep your, your, your phone uh, on airplane mode, okay? But the problem is if ever you come back to it to use your cellular data or to use a, a Wi-Fi connection, what it does is, is it still um, may keep these on. Now, one of the things I'm showing you here, which is kind of neat, is that if we're on airplane mode, we come off of airplane mode, and even if I toggle these on, toggle those off, they're still connected. They're still on, even though they're not connected, excuse me, okay? But then if I go to airplane mode, you'll see them knock off. When I come off of airplane mode, Wi-Fi comes back on, it, okay? And Bluetooth is on, okay? So anytime you toggle on and off, airplane mode it forces on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so it's gonna be a whole bunch of more popping I suggest that everybody stay off of the update for um, iOS 11 um, because of the fact that um, it, you're gonna have to struggle with this I think we should just all complain to um, 
Apple and get them to make a correction for this or some some fix. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and proven you this is how you got to always be vigilant on everything that you're doing. Um, and just as a parting uh, announcement, of course, and, and shameless plug, this is the kind of stuff I cover in my program called Balance Protocol Enviro. All right. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that and it made sense to you. Um, the thing about it is, is radio frequency uh, in this digital age that we have, this microwave planet that we live on, uh, really and truly uh, needs to be mitigated. And I know we all use our smartphones and devices and things like that, but you have to know what you're up against. And oftentimes when technology uh, does an improvement or an update or something like that, the whole ball game changes and you have to know uh, what you're actually dealing with. It is not their uh, job or responsibility to let you know what they're doing to you, believe it or not. That's why they've got all those disclaimers and statements and stuff like that that you just click that accept the term. So um, with that being said, that's what you're going to need to do to make this adjustment if you do want to upgrade to the iOS uh, 11 on your iPhones. Uh, the take home here is to, uh, when you're not using it, have it in airplane mode <clears throat> and just remember when you come back off of airplane mode uh, if you had your um, uh, Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth um, uh, toggled off in the control center it's still going to be on in the services uh, controls okay so it's um, it's cumbersome it sucks but unless uh, Apple comes up with another fix and we, get, we let them all know that uh, we don't like that, that when you toggle it off in the control center, it should turn it off with the whole phone, uh, we're going to have to deal with that for a while um, and just uh, um, make the best of it. So anyways, if you want to learn more about these kind of uh, challenges, sources of things like radio frequency and other things in your environment when it comes to the air you breathe, the sound that you, uh, and how it affects your body, light and how it affects your body, water and how it affects your health and body and stuff like that. Uh, I have put together a fantastic program that really covers those six critical factors of um, getting your best uh, wellness levels that you possibly can and much less you know, resolve chronic disease. The program is called Balance Protocol Enviro and if you want to learn a little bit more about that you just head over to balanceprotocolenviro.com and it'll give you an opportunity to read a little bit about that, watch an amazing uh, program uh, webinar for free on that and it'll give you an opportunity to take part if you so choose. Um, but in the meantime, live life in balance and if you have any questions or any other kind of videos that you want me to cover, um, please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Join Balance Nation if you're not already a part of that group on Facebook. Uh, that's where I really do a lot of post a lot of these videos. Or you can email me at dranthonygbeck at gmail.com. Look forward to hearing from you.